Hello everybody, how are you? So this is iOS Pro Hacker again with another tutorial for you. So have you forgot your iPhone, iPad, iPod passcode or your iOS device is stuck on the disabled screen due to entering wrong passcodes again and again? So no problem. In this video, I am going to be showing you that how to fix the disabled or forgotten passcodes, iPhone, iPads, iPods. This method works for all iPhones, iPads, iPods models, including the latest iPhone 11, iPhone XS, X and all other ones. So guys, let me clear it to you first that there is no way to get the previous data back to your iOS device. Yes guys, it is not possible, but there are two different options from where you will easily get your iPhone's data, which I will show you in the video. So guys, you must have a computer to fix your iOS device. You cannot fix it without having a computer. So enough talking, let's start our tutorial. Guys, it is very easy to fix your iPhone, iPad or iPod. I will show you two ways to unlock iOS devices. Uh, the first method is by fixing the phone using the software called Tenorshare for You Key, which is a paid software. And the second method to fix iPhone is using iTunes. iTunes method is totally free. I'm going to show you these two methods in the video. So let me show you the first one. So all you need is to open your browser and visit the Tenorshare for You Key website. You need to download and install this tool. The link is available in the description of this video also. So this tool will help us to unlock our disabled forgotten passcode iPhone, iPad, iPod instantly in a single click. What actually it does is basically factory resets uh, your whole phone. This tool is available for Windows and Mac both. You can go ahead, download and install it. After installation, open it up. Now you will see this screen. Just tap on unlock lock screen passcode. Tap on start button now. If the computer is unable to detect your iOS device, so you need to put it into the recovery mode to get it detected. And here is the method showing on the screen for putting the iOS device into the recovery mode. So simply select your iOS device type and follow the method shown on the screen to start putting your phone into the recovery mode. It is just a volume and home button trick. So connect your iOS device first and follow the method shown on the screen to put it into the recovery mode. If you fail on the first try, so try it again. Now go ahead to the PC and here you will see the download button. It will start download the latest iOS version firmware file which will help us to factory reset our iOS device and also update it to the latest iOS version. Now tap on the download button. And now wait for it to complete the downloading process. It may take time to download the file depends on your internet speed. Because it's a 3.52 GB file, uh, you can also disconnect your iOS device till the download completes or just keep your iOS device connected. After the downloads finish, it will going to start repairing your iPhone, iPad or iPod. It normally takes 7 to 10 minutes, so make sure your computer is connected with internet during this process. And if you are having any kind of errors during the process, so make sure you have an original Apple Lightning cable or try changing your USB ports. I mean that it try to connect your iOS device on any other USB port of your laptop. Laptop, you can also try to reinstall the software and if still you are unable to repair your iOS device due to any error, you can also try to uh, change your computer, install for you key on any other computer and try repairing your phone again. Or if you are still having the problems, so you can try the iTunes method which is our second method which I will show you next in the video. So as you guys see that my iPhone is back and passcode has been removed successfully. Now all you need to do is to set up your iOS device. 
and to retrieve the previous data you can select options from here if you have previously created any iCloud backup or iTunes backup of your data so you can select these options to retrieve the data from there but I'm gonna select do not transfer applications and data because I don't wanna transfer any data right now and after you set it up you will see the home screen so you can see you can easily repair or fix your disabled iOS device with the simple 4U key method. But if your device does not repair using the 4U key, so try to repair again using the iTunes method. So now I will show you the next method to fix your disabled or passcode forgotten iOS device using the iTunes method. Now let's go. If your iOS device is permanently disabled due to entering incorrect passcodes or you have forgot your iPhone, iPad, iPod passcode, so you can also easily fix your iOS device using the iTunes method. And obviously, you need a computer for that. Let's jump into the PC. So open your browser and visit itunes.com to download the itunes you will find the get button to install it in your pc i have already installed it so now i'm gonna open it up to show you guys that how it works now you need to connect your ios device to the computer uh, but the computer will not detect your iOS device. So you need to put your iPhone, iPad or iPod into the recovery mode. Every iPhone, iPad, iPod model have a different method to put it into the recovery mode. All you need to do is to search the way of putting your iOS device into the recovery mode on YouTube. You can search uh, like how to put iPhone 6s in recovery mode. I have searched for 6s because I have iPhone 6s. Uh, you can search iPhone X, XS, 11 Pro, whatever iOS device you have. Uh, you will find a lot of videos on the YouTube for that. So follow any of the video to put your iOS device into the recovery mode. Now after you put your iOS device into the recovery mode, so the iTunes will gonna detect your device. You may see this pop up on the iTunes. Now just tap on the cancel button and you need to tap on the restore button so now tap on the restore and update button again and now tap on next uh, tap on agree and now the itunes will going to download the ios version firmware file automatically before starting the repairing process it may take time uh, keep your ios device connected with the computer and once the download will complete it will going to start the restoring repairing process automatically i'm gonna cancel the download uh, because i have already downloaded the ios firmware IPSW file manually uh, you can also download it manually via browser if you are having any problem with automatic download so you can check the description of the video to find a way to download the file IPSW file manually all right if you want to select the downloaded iOS firmware file now tap on the restore button by holding down the shift button on the windows and option key in Mac now it will ask you to select the file now choose your downloaded iOS firmware IPSW file after selecting the file tap on the restore button to start fixing your iOS device and now this process will take 7 to 10 minutes keep your iOS device connected with the computer do not also disconnect the internet from the computer as it collects some information during the restore process from the Apple servers if you are having any kind of iTunes error so make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer or try to change the USB cable I recommend you to use original Apple lighting data cable to avoid any kind of errors uh, or you can also try uh, to change the USB port or try fixing your iOS device on any other computer all right now just wait for it to complete
So guys, after the restore process will complete, you will see this hello screen. And now you need to set up your iPhone, select the language, country, network, set the new passcode and all of these things. And you can see my iOS device has fixed. So guys, this was the two simple methods to fix your iOS devices if it is disabled or you forgot the passcode. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also check out my other videos. Do support my channel at Patreon. See you later in the next video.